When you think of medieval sword fighting, a certain image may come to mind. Oh, say, oh like Game of Thrones? To which I responded, not really. <laughs> Hollywood has it all wrong, according to those who understand this ancient technique. And this week's Finding Minnesota, Rachel Slavic discovered a club filled with swordsmen who find the medieval skill still useful in 2017. Push, pull, and finish. There are different steps. Yep, and make that cut. To preserve history. I know that this is a false action. Brandon Folk prefers an interactive approach. Boom, just like that. To resurrect a skill that dates back centuries. And now this is optimal attacking distance. It's historical European martial arts. It's doing for fencing what MMA did for martial arts. Think medieval combat with weapons. And then hips first. Each week, and cut. Brandon instructs a growing group of swordsmen. Hit each other in the head. That's why we're here. Depending upon the month, between 40 and 70 students. Yeah, ever since I was a little kid, I was sort of interested in the medieval period. The most experienced, like Hoseus Arcadia, hone their skills on a steel blade. It more than anything develops your mind and your body together. Hoseus and others quickly learn that initial curiosity leads to an understanding of a long-lost art. Along with all those hours of training, you, you develop a lot of uh, physical intelligence. Authenticity is the emphasis, not just in weaponry, but also in the ancient technique. People that actually use this to survive wrote it down and told us how to do it. There's a lot of physical challenges, obviously. But more than that, it's the mental challenge of kind of sizing up your opponent. Swordsmen know this is never a contest of brute strength. Everything in modern media plays up all the wrong aspects of the sword fighting. Success is found in simplicity, anticipating a reaction through distance and timing. The simple game is always going to win if it's executed properly. The cause of combat differs from past to present, yet victory remains the goal. Nice. In a pointed approach to history. It's as practical as you could be in 2017 with a sword. Rachel Slavic, WCCO 4 News. Well, anyone can join the Minnesota Sword Club and, and learn the technique. It's open to anyone 16 and older. We have some information on our website. Just go to WCCO.com links where you can also send us your Finding Minnesota ideas.